and welcome back. Tonight we continue our look into the recent hearing held in the 1997 murder case of John Hartman and the four men seeking to have the case against them reviewed. Stephanie Woodard has more. After five hours inside a closed courtroom, lawyers emerged. Attorneys for the Fairbanks Four, Jason Wallace, and investigators that worked closely with the case heard testimony on whether or not to admit sealed evidence, evidence that some believe to be another confession that corroborates the Fairbanks Four did not murder John Hartman in October of 1997. The courtroom was locked, and supporters of the four men in prison say it's just not right. You know, it's human beings that are supposed to be part of the system that don't want anything except for transparency literally being locked out of their own courts so that the state can fight behind closed doors to keep a murder confession that they've been hiding for more than a decade a secret for how many more decades. It has been over a year since a confession by convicted murderer William Holmes was filed in court and months since the state has begun its review of the case. It's been the same as it has been for the whole 17 years in terms of how the state responds. Sure, I mean, it's the same system that took innocent people and put them in jail, and it's just as sick and just as corrupt as it was then. The state reviewing the case was not allowed in the courtroom. The state does not have the information that was dealt with in this hearing, so I, I guess the answer is they don't know what it is. So uh, I'm not sure there's any way they could investigate it. Judge Paul Lyle did not make a ruling. The judge can take up to six months to respond, although he feels it'll be sooner. I have innocent clients in prison, so um, it it's comes with the, the work, but you're always frustrated when they remain in jail. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting.